everybody, Carla Nicole. So, um, I wanted to talk today about um, the peace in your soul. Um, I think it's important and imperative that we are pretty mindful of um, our own peace and um, how it truly can be stolen from you if you don't command being over top of whatever comes into your space that is not allowing you to be peaceful. The problem is a lot of us don't really sit down and think about how when we're in our best mood or when we're in our most peaceful state or when we're, we are our happiest, that comes that comes from a space that is beyond, you know, um, what you consider normal. And a lot of times we find ourselves um, challenged because in the challenge of keeping ourselves um, peaceful and keeping ourselves happy and content, the challenge is things can come up that you can never imagine will show up and cause all kinds of havoc in our lives. And what happens is we really don't know how to um, deal or how to change or how to fix what happens. For instance, let's just say I had a situation where um, one minute everything was fine, cool, calm, collect. And I'm usually in a Personally, I'm usually in a pretty calm state. I'm not one that is anxious often or or frustrated. It, it takes a lot to piss me off or get me angry. So I try to stay in that state just because I know that it's best for me. But let's say, for instance, I was in a situation where my anger and everything else trumped. It went over the top of my normalcy or my peace. And... You know, um, I believe in our lifetime that when we go through something, we learn something in the process. So I just wanted to put this out here. Understand, in a blink of an eye, you might think everything's cool, calm, and collect, but something can switch and change you and make you be like, man, I went from left to center. I was cool 20 minutes ago, and now I'm acting a fool, and I don't even know why or how I got here. But what's crazy about it is everything was fine before this. So how do we get past the situation and how do we actually alter our sense of state of mind to where we can now um, move forward? Because when you're in a situation or you have something happen to you, it's obviously you're going to have that memory or you're going to have that situation keep wanting to re-show up or just keep coming up over and over in your mind and you want to keep replaying the same memory over and over and over again because you're now addicted to the fact that you were cool before it happened and now after that you're not so cool and you're like really like how did this happen and you're just in complete disbelief like I didn't know that I was going to have to go through something like this because I was cool before this happened so you're like you know everything's fine and then all of a sudden I'm like what <laughs> I was in a whole different space and time and I'm telling you, when I say a blink, of, a, blink of, a blink of an eye, it is really truly a blink of an eye. And so what I pulled from this, because I believe everything that happens in your life happens for a reason. And I'm trying to pull the wisdom from it to give other people some peace. Understand this. Things happen. Drama. Stuff that you would never imagine can come across your, your life. And you're like, I was fine, you know, 20 minutes ago, or I was cool a day ago, or everything was fine, you know, a week ago. And now all of this stuff has happened. What do I do? Um, what I pulled for this, from this is this. It's important that you find a way to get your peace back. Because it's funny. You don't realize how... When you're in a daily routine or you're in a, um, a situation where you're just fine all the time and nothing really is ruffling your feathers, 
you're cool, you're calm, you're collect, your your life is going well, your family's good, your your household's in, in order, and all of these things are happening, and you're like, you know, I'm great. I'm not having any issues. I'm not having any problems. I'm not having any, you know, concerns. And then say, for instance, somebody you care about gets killed or, 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 or you know, something ha tragic happens or you're getting a car accident or, or, you know, your bank account's drained from somebody that stole from you. And then all of a sudden your life is like in a shambles. I want, I want you to get this because this is something I got from my situation that I went through. Don't let nobody take your peace. Don't let anything take away your peace. So in order to do that, you have to come to terms with treating the situation like a thief in the night and if something comes up in your life that you know is like I didn't ask for this or or I didn't I didn't have any anything to do with this this is not me this is something that came from uh, I was blindsided or something came from left to center and I didn't see it coming understand this it wasn't you so don't allow that situation to overstake or, or, or almost like it, it comes into your life like an intruder and it wants to sit and crop its feet up on your, sit, on your seat. And you're like, I didn't say you were welcome here. Because the memory or even the situation can cause you to keep playing it in the mind. And when that happens, it's taking away your peace. Because I'm somebody that's very meditative and very, you know, prayerful. Prayer, prayerful and it was taken away from my prayer time because I couldn't I couldn't shut off the memory I couldn't shut off the anger I couldn't shut off what I heard I couldn't shut off a lot of shit that just pissed me off and I'm like how do you get to this point where you're so angry you can't even shut down to be meditative to to get to your spiritual space now we have a problem because I have a strong spirituality and if this is intruding on my spirituality we really have a problem because you're now all up in this and I can't have that because my spirituality trumps any situation or person or people or situations that happen that is not okay so how do I get over that let me tell you something I had to get into myself and say look I'm either going to have to do something with this memory or it's going to cost me more than I'm willing to lose. So, you know, I did a technique to get rid of the memory. To to to, die, to dim it like a light. You know how you have a, a beaming light that's something so bright that you can't see. So I wanted to dim the light. Not to say that the memory's gone, because of course it won't be gone. But it's at least blurry to where I'm not, it's not to the point where it's just so, you know, well created in the mind that I can't even focus or, or go into meditation. That's a problem for me. Because I, I, you know, my spirituality is key on me. And I don't have a time, I don't have time to be trying to figure out, well, how can I just, you know, meditate anyway? No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow a memory or any situation to be in the way of my spirituality. So I'm like, no, this has to go. So I, I said all that to say this, man, if something in your life is stopping you from getting peace, and you know, my situation was something minor, but... I don't know what all of you are dealing with. You know, there's people that, that got beat, hurt, met, uh, 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 you know, in an accident or whatever. And that, I'm, I'm looking at my memory like this is really small compared to other people's memory. But it was taking a lot of my headspace. So how does somebody that has something even worse than what I was dealing with, how did they, how do they actually live their life in peace? It's hard to live in peace when you got all this other stuff going on. So I'm like, you know, I have to give you guys something that I, I didn't realize. We have to get our power back, which means getting our peace back and protecting our peace. In order to protect the peace is by sitting down and really figuring out what is more important. And let's not be closed-minded. If you have talked, tried to get counseled, tried to, um, you know, confide in some people, tried to write down how you were feeling and none of that works listen don't be embarrassed to go to a to get hypnotized or whatever you got to do to get rid or fade that memory so you can focus and be in your peace man that's not okay and i'm like there's people that went through something 110 percent worse than what i went through and they're like man 
I, how do I focus? How do I live? How do I move on from that? And, you know, th those that know me know that, you know, I, I'm big about um, DV and domestic violence and, and trying to help them heal. But this, this um, situation helped me to see that memories can really take over how you're feeling or your daily routine or just being able to be in silence. You can't be in silence if you keep visiting that memory. And in order to change that, we have to now figure out a way to do it without being embarrassed. Look, I'm not embarrassed. Like, we got to do what we got to do in order to regain our peace. So I said all that to say this. Listen, if something is bothering you, and you know, we all have our moments of anger and frustration. If something is bothering you and frustrating you, and you can't just be settled in your mind and calm, cool, collect, don't let that take over. Don't. Because your mind and your soul and your peace is yours. And nothing. I don't care if it's anything. I don't care if your husband's cheating or your wife is out here messing around or your kids don't want to listen or, or your boss is being disrespectful. Whatever the situation could be, don't ever let it take your peace because that is your right to have. And whatever it is, you have to learn to actually master a way to keep it. And in order to keep it, you have to be like, look, um, what do I need to do? And your peace has to be so important to you that you don't even, you know what I'm saying, you don't even second guess whatever drastic measure you have to take to get your peace because a lot of times we see our peace as something that is um easily acquired but it's not if we don't have um a you know a practice or a routine to to make sure we monitor the peace and are commanding over the peace that nothing and no one or no situation should interfere with that piece so that's what I, I just wanted to chime in real quick you know um i just you know i have to i have to let y'all know what i find out so that i can help you because i don't know who else is out here angry frustrated upset still having a replay in the mind of something that happened to them and that memory just won't fade no matter what you do no matter how you pray for it how you sleep on it how you you know you talk you know and the thing about it is it's easy to distract the memory now this is the key it's easy to distract the memory memory by um you know talking to someone else it'll die down you don't even hear the memory you don't even see the memory when you're easily distracted so a lot of times people revert to alcoholism drug abuse or you know promiscuity or any kind of thing like that to divert the fact that the you know the 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 memory is still there so they're trying to stay busy or trying to you know keep their life loud so they can't hear what they remember so you know we judge a lot of people that's alcoholics or drug addicts or you know or people that's promiscuous and we judge them like you know they're wrong or whatever but you don't know why they're trying to keep their life loud you don't know why they're wanting to be in that drunken state you don't know why they want to stay high maybe it's because there's a memory they don't know how to get rid of and in that memory it it stakes this this um thievery of your peace and so they're rushing to that high or that drunkenness to subside from it so i'm just trying to give y'all some fyi some information that y'all might not see because you might see somebody on the side of the road or you might see somebody with a sign saying help me and you don't really want to judge you don't want to judge them you give them change or you might not but you don't know what what caused that person to be in that circumstance and sometimes it could be a memory so ungodly you would never imagine and it just keeps resurfacing in their mind and they don't know how to get rid of it so they just keep you know keep filling their head with with 
partying or they keep filling their head with drunkenness or they keep filling their head with uh, uh, multiple sexual partners or they keep filling their head up with with how do I get high I can't get high enough I want to get more and more high well they're doing that because they're trying to dilute the memory that they can't just shake based upon you know just the average person and nobody is 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 exempt from this you know like I said in a blink of an eye you can be cool one minute the next minute, it's a whole different story. And you don't see it coming. You don't see anywhere, shape, or form that it, it, it is even going to show up. And it shows up. Then your peace is, is now challenged or it's non-existent. And you're in a rage or you're in an anger or you're in a frustration that you didn't see coming. What do you do? And then you're like, well, I'm just trying to get back to my normalcy. I'm trying to get back to where I was. I'm trying to get back to my peace. And it's just not happening because you're frustrated and you don't know how to get there. So I just wanted to chime in real quick and tell you, don't let nothing stop your peace. And do whatever drastic measure, measure you have to to get it back. Because once it's back, you're good. So I'm going to sign off now. I hope this helps somebody. And please share this because, hey, if you yourself are peaceful, there's someone in your timeline that may not be and may need to hear this. And sometimes, you know, it's just a, 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 a thought. I don't know. I got moved to come live, but I don't know who this might reach that might say, damn, I'm going through this. And that really helped me to see that, you know, you know, I'm, I've been judgmental on people that I thought, you know, just want to do drugs or alcohol because they just don't, they just want to do it for leisure. Maybe they're trying to silence a memory that is hard to shake. I don't know, but I hope this helps. Signing off, Carla Nicole, best kept. Have a good day. Bye.